If you're a subscriber of this channel, you know in 2018 I was showing you a lot about note-taking apps and which one to use. I created the note-taking app comparison tool on my website where you can just go over and filter for the things you need. I even published an ebook called Paperless Note-Taking Like a Pro in which I explain you in detail about my five favorite note-taking apps. It's the five note-taking apps I think are the best in the iOS app store for the iPad Pro. Each of them have their strengths and their weaknesses. And that's really the problem. There is no all-in-one note-taking app out there. I showed you videos about Notability and Notes Plus where I claim it is an all-in-one note-taking app, but there are still things missing. But they are getting very close with each update, they are getting closer to become the best note-taking app available. In my opinion and things I heard from people in the Facebook group of the paperless movement are things they should really add to these note-taking apps. And this is the reason for this video. I want to show you five things that Procreate, the drawing app, does better than any of the note-taking apps already available. Welcome everyone to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and I review the best hardware and software solutions you need to digitize your life and to become more productive at work and in your home office. So you will have more time to the things that really matter to you. We will dive now into Procreate. So I opened it up here. So I will show you some things the note-taking apps really could learn from. So the first thing is let's draw something or let's write something. Okay, the first thing, in my opinion, and as far I know, is pretty easy to implement. I don't know why no, no note-taking app offers this yet, which is gestures. So if you wrote something, just use two fingers to undo. Use three fingers to redo. It is so much more efficient doing it this way. Feature number two is shading. So I can write here and I can shade. Okay, if you have an Apple Pencil, you can shade. In note-taking apps, this is not possible. Although in this app is here in pencil available, we are still not able to shade. It will stay like this. And it's in most other note-taking apps as well. If you go to the native Apple Notes, then we can just draw like this and we can choose a pencil and here we can actually shade. However, it's not available in other note-taking apps. But it's an easy workaround. If you really want to draw something, just get Procreate and draw it in here professionally. And um, then it's just easy to get it into Node Shelf. We have the, the plain canvas here. Just go here, share and go to PDF and then whatever quality I use best and copy to Node Shelf. Just press insert here and you have the sketch in your note checking app in Node Shelf already available in the best quality you can have as it was exported as a PDF. So feature number three is layers. But this means I will just show you. And now let's pretend that we're doing a highlighting. But we will put the highlight on a different layer. If you use a highlighter in Notability, it will cover your text. Not extremely like this, I know this. However, the text will just be not in front of your highlighting. So that's the good thing about layers. I could just use now this layer where I put my highlighter on and you see it just goes on the back and that's fine. In good notes and in Notechef 2, you have the highlighter and behind. However, if you want to draw, to draw a box to get a nice background or something, it is not possible in these note-taking apps to do a proper filling. It is available now in Notability, the filling thing, but it's still missing in GoodNotes and in Note Shelf. And now you have it in front. In Notability, you as well can't move the layers. In this case, I can move the layer. It's pretty easy. So this is the main reason why I want to have layers, because I am able to delete some things on my own, on its own, so, you know, I have full control of what I want to add and how the, the whole structure of my note would work. So there is one note-taking app called Zoom Notes, 
which already provides layers. The problem with Zoom Notes still is, it's not very easy to learn and to get the hang of it. Um, I know there are courses now out there where you can learn it, but still the UI and the overall feeling, I'm not very happy about Zoom Notes, which is the reason why I'm not using Zoom Notes at the moment. So the fourth feature is about drawing shapes. And Notability is really doing good in drawing shapes and with the new update for the Notability 9.0 where they really improved how you can draw shapes in Notability, then you know they are on a good way as well. However, I still think Procreate does it so much better handling shapes. We see already this box, how it looks like. So just let's get rid of the box, maybe not, not to get rid, just you know, hide it, another advantage of the layer system, you just need to draw a line. And then you hold it, it's like a notability, then it will become a straight line. However, now I can just hold my finger down and it will snap to different angles. And that's awesome already. So let's do the same and draw a square like this. And hold. Okay, and that's it. You see, it's not a perfect square, but there's a new button, Edit Shape. Press Edit and now you can choose from different styles. If it is actually a square, then you can just tap square and it will make a square from it, or a rectangle, it will make a rectangle. And then you can just drag it here and, and move it around, uh, whatever you like. And then just press square again, it will make a square. And just confirm by tapping somewhere else and now you can drag in a color and you have a perfect shape going on and I think that's so much easier to draw shapes like this we can also draw whatever we want as soon we hold, press and hold it it will make a shape and that's it we can also of course make circles edit shape make a ellipse something like that use different color drag it in here use this color drag it in here so you see how easy it is to handle colors and make complex things in there. Of course, again, if you want to make nice pictures, you can still do it in Procreate and import it into your note-taking app. But the note-taking apps already offer something like shapes. So I think they should do it properly. And there we go to feature number five that is really missing. Well, it's not missing, but it's not very properly implemented into note-taking apps and Procreate is just a draw, it's a drawing app, it's a professional drawing app and they just recently added the feature to add text into your picture but they implemented it so very well that the developers of the note-taking app really can have a look at this. So let's do this then. So you just go here and go to add and add text. Okay, so we have a text field here and now you simply tap here on edit style and look at this, it's really nice and clean how you can handle the text. Now you can import fonts here. This is something that is missing in the other apps or not very obvious and easy to do to import fonts. You can easily go here from uh, Centric and so on. That's in most noting apps available as well. Underline and you can do it like this, transparent, or you just switch on to make all the letters capitals and here you can easily change the size. It feels always in all the note-taking apps, changing size feels clunky. Then you can change how the letters spread, then the baseline and the opacity. And then look at this, all these different bonds available. Just change the color here. It is so easy. And I would wish that the note-taking apps offer this as well. Because I know you want to handwrite, but sometimes you want to have the headlines in uh, type text and you want to convert your handwriting into text. But then I would wish it would be as easy to change the style of the text like it is in Procreate. So if you like these five features or even there are other features you want to have in a note-taking app that other apps already offer, just go to the comment section and leave a comment below so the developers will see what is actually missing in their apps. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to stay up to date on the latest technologies on going paperless. And I see you next time.